Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part seven of our series of session on interest calculation feature. In this session, we will understand a very interesting concept or configuration related to how can you configure your interest calculation the based on the applicability and calculate from the periodicity. So this is very interesting and I would be covering in multiple parts related to these concept and the configuration. Probably I would be covering in three or four sessions related to this session, part seven. So let us go to tally and let us start exploring this very interesting feature of configuration related to interest calculation. Let's go to tally. In this session, let us take the example of the vendor's invoices that you are accounting for. One is the interest calculation past the due date, which we saw in the earlier sessions. Now let's take one example of a supplier. So I've selected a supplier, which is super traders. So we want to activate interest calculation. So you come here and then press yes. And this is the simple interest calculation that we configured and we understood the rate of interest and the periodicity and the type of balance on which the interest needs to be calculated in the previous couple of sessions. Now we will enable the advanced feature and then see what are the additional configurations that you can manage according to your requirement. So you're going to remember your secret number two, which is your F12 configure, press F12 and enable this option, use advanced interest parameter. You're going to make this as yes, enter. And now you are going to get this additional parameter, which will be available once you enable advanced parameter. So now the applicability. So since this is a supplier, we have said that calculate interest transaction by transaction on the credit balance, which we have understood. Now the additional feature. So the applicability, there are, there are two types of applicability. So one, it says always, and the second one is past due date. Now we have been selecting the past due date in the earlier one. And I had mentioned that I will explain to you about the advantage of selecting this option. So let's say that when I say always, it straight away goes and then asks you what is the calculate from so what is the interest applicability that you want so since the supplier is going to give you x number of days as credit and if he's going to charge interest or you want to know the interest that is accrued on the overdue invoices so in that case you are going to select due date of the invoice or reference now when you come to pass due date and when you select this you are getting an additional option here. What is this additional option and how can we use this additional option? We will discuss in the upcoming session. So I can select past due date and then I can say due date of invoice and ref invoice or reference without enabling any of this additional feature or advanced feature or I can always select applicability is always calculate interest from the due date of the invoice. So this is the configuration that we are going to do. Rounding off again, you can say normal rounding off, enter, and then limit is one rupee rounding off. So we are going to save this. Now, what is this? Again, it is asking you for rate of interest. We will discuss this in the upcoming session. So currently we are going to just accept this, control A, save this, and let's make one purchase entry from super traders. This is the purchase invoice, and let's go to the Billwise detail, new reference. And here, let's say the credit that the vendor is offering you is 10 days. Enter. So from your voucher date of 1st of February, 10 days, this bill is going to be due on 11th of February. Enter, accept. And now let us see the interest calculation. Now we are seeing the interest calculation report. And if you notice here, we have made this invoice on 1st of February, 10 days credit. It was due on 11th of February. So by 11th of February, we are supposed to make the payment. Now the current date of this company is 15th of March. 
So from 12th of February till the current date, tally is calculated interest for 32 days, which we have understood. And since we said rounding off to the normal, it is not, it is rounding off the paises to the nearest rupee. So this is the simple way how you can calculate interest for your supplier and also for your customer based on the due date to find out the amount of interest. Let us take another use case of a scenario where you make an outstation purchase where the supplier for example is invoiced on 1st of February and is delivered the goods and you have received the goods on 5th of February and you are going to account the purchase invoice on 5th of February. Now the vendor is very clear that he is going to give you 10 days credit from the date of his invoice. His invoice date is 1st of February. Whereas since you have received the material on 5th, you are going to account on 5th. But then the requirement is you want tally to calculate interest from 1st of February, not from the date of your voucher. Otherwise, there is going to be a mismatch in the invoice. So how do we handle this use case scenario? So Tally has an option where you can manage or handle these kind of exceptions. So that means basically now you know that you need two different dates to be captured in your voucher, which is your purchase voucher or your purchase invoice. So what are the two different dates you are going to capture? Number one is your voucher date. So you have received on 5th of February, obviously you are going to account on 5th of February. But whereas you are instructing Tally to calculate interest from 1st of February. So to enable two different dates, Tally has a feature of effective date. So how do you enable effective date? The effective date is enabled for each of the voucher type masters. So how do we go to voucher type masters? Let me show in the normal way, gateway of tally and go to alter and select voucher type. And here you are going to select purchase voucher enter. Now this is your voucher type alteration screen. If you notice here, there is this option called use effective dates for voucher. So come here and then enable this option and save the voucher type alteration master by pressing Control A. Now let's come back. We are going to make a purchase entry from the outstation supplier and see how we can capture these two different dates and enable interest calculation. First, let us go and enable interest calculation for this party. This is my outstation party. So here we will activate interest calculation. You make this interest calculation as yes. The interest needs to be calculated past the due date of invoice. So considering the credit period that is being offered by the vendor. But the requirement here now is that you have to calculate interest from 1st of February, not from 5th of February, which is your voucher date. So we select this always enter and then you are going to say due date of invoice. We are going to say rounding off normal rounding off to one rupee and you are going to save this now. Let us make a purchase entry and see what is the difference. If you notice here, since we have enabled the effective date, okay, Tally is now asking you for two dates. So now for you to have an effective date different from your voucher date, then what you are going to do is you are going to press F2 date, which is your right hand side button bar, press F2. Now Tally is asking you, what is the date of your voucher? The date of my voucher is 5th of February. But what is the effective date from which the interest needs to be calculated? So interest needs to be calculated from the voucher date of the supplier invoice. So the supplier invoice date is 1st of February. Enter and you will notice here 5th of February is your voucher date. Effective date is 1st of February. You have purchased this item. Let us go to billwise detail, new reference and here the supplier is giving you 15 days credit. Again, if you see the effective date is considering the date that you have entered in the effective date field. It is not your voucher date. So from 1st of February, 15 days is what the vendor is giving you credit. So which means that by 16th of February, you are supposed to make the payment. In case you are not able to make the payment on or before 16th of February, then the interest is going to be applicable. That is what is the configuration that we have 
done save this let us now view the interest calculation so if you notice here 15 days is the credit invoice date was 5th of february but whereas for interest calculation purpose you have entered the effective date as 1st of february so the date that tally is going to pick up for interest calculation will be the effective date so 1st of february you are going to effective date is 1st of february 15 days credit so it is going to calculate interest from the 16th day which is 17th of february till the current date so this is how the interest is calculated tally by default will always consider the effective date for the interest calculation let us take another interesting situation let us say this supplier is stipulated a condition what is the condition the condition he tells you that i am giving you 15 days credit you have to pay me the amount within the stipulated credit term in case if you don't pay the money within the credit period then he is informed that he is going to calculate interest from day one he is going to ignore the credit period and since you have defaulted he is going to start calculating interest from the invoice date not considering the credit period so in that case how do you configure this now you have to also configure and see in case if the vendor is charging you interest you have to see whether the right amount is being charged by him so how do we handle this so let's go to the interest configuration screen here is where you have to make a change in the interest calculate from so applicability you are going to say always okay and now if you select due date of invoice then it is going to consider the credit period and interest is going to be calculated past credit period which is what we just now saw but then you want to calculate interest for all the overdue bills which you have not pay, made payment to this party from the date of the invoice so what you do you're going to now select calculate interest from the effective date of the transaction so enter and save this control a the effective date you have entered is interest to be calculated from 1st of february so the very next day onwards since this bill was overdue now tally is calculating based on the effective date interest is levied from the next day that is 2nd of february till 15th of march 42 days and this is the interest amount that it calculates so this is how you can make use of the past due date and the effective date of the transaction i hope you have understood the concept of applicability and calculate from related to the effective date and past due date so in the upcoming session we will also see more advanced configurations related to the calculation type of applicability and calculate from so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much